Hello, my name's Martin Carthy. The American Folk Life Centre at the Library of Congress has invited me to perform in their 2021 Homegrown at Home concert series. So instead of being in Washington, D.C., I'm four miles from my home in Robin Hood's Bay, coming you today from Whitby in North Yorkshire, England, on the North Sea coast. The American Folk Life Centre will release a concert every other Wednesday from now through September the 22nd at noon East Coast US time. And each artist will be there with you in the chat section to answer questions, so be sure to say hello. After each concert is released, you can continue to find the video on the library's website or YouTube channel. The first song is called The Bedmaking and it comes from a singer in Dorset on the south coast of England called Marina Russell. She lived in a village called Upway, which is now a suburb of Weymouth itself. She had 11 children, including a set of twins, and they were called Lavinia and Cordelia. All her children had beautiful names. And one of the twins went into service and was targeted by the, uh, the, the man of the house where she worked, and she fell pregnant. And the remarkable thing about Marina Russell is that she managed to keep the baby out of the workhouse, but the daughter had to stay there. In many ways, this is a true story, but it is not the only place in the country where the song is found. Oh, my father, he was a good old man, put me to service when I was very young. Mrs. and me, we never could agree, because that my master, he would love me. And the missus sent me upstairs to the loft, to make up the bed so neat and soft. Master followed after with a gay glory, saying, Betty, I have this for your bed making. All through the kitchen and down through the hall, all through the parlour among the women. No master followed after with a gay glory, saying, Betty, I have this for your bed making. Mrs. come upstairs in a great haste, called the master there with his arm on my waist. From the top to the bottom stairs she did him fling, saying, Mr. Have that for your bed making. All through the kitchen and down through the hall, all through the parlour among the women, all everybody asked me, wherever had I been, and they laughed when I said, at the bed making. Mrs. she flung me out of the door, she called me a nasty cheeky little whore, the weather being wet. My clothes being thin, now I wish I was back at the bed making. Six months over and seven months past, pretty fair maid grew thick about the waist, her stains wouldn't beat, nor a pin of four pin. She cried when she thought of the bed making. Eight months over and nine months gone, pretty fair maid had a beautiful son. She took him to the church, she had him christened John. She took him back again to the dear old man. She cursed him through the kitchen and down to the hall, cursed him through the parlour among the women hall, saying, If I won't pay me, take your little son John, cause he never cost you nothing but a bed making. next song is called The Whale Catchers and it comes from a singer called Henry Hills who lived in a village called Rusper in West Sussex and it was collected by 
a minor English composer called W. Percy Merrick. This song is history and should be remembered. sing a thing called A Sailor By My Right, which is uh, part of Cecil Sharp's mighty collection of Somerset songs, and one of the ones that was in five time that, uh, that he found. It was a very common time signature. It's a ghost story, and this is one very, very angry ghost. <laughs> you will hear that there's really good reason why she is that angry. Promise. 
promised I would be true to both Promised on my sovereign oath One of them became my wife And the other two her own sweet life For she hanged herself all to a tree Two men hunting her did see Took a knife and they cut her down And on her body and up they found Here on the earth please let me lie Everyone that do pass by Every one a warning take And see what folly this young man make While he's on earth will I be just While he's on earth shall he take no rest what she said played the young man so that on the sea he was forced to go. One day he stood on the topmast high, a little boat he chanced to spy. Saw his true love come all alongside, two angel babies all by her side. His true love on the deck did stand Inquiring for this wicked man In some little town your true love died And in his grave his body lies Oh, Captain, Captain, can you say so? He is down in the hole below If you stand in his defense Here is the spirit will take you hence down from the deck then the captain goes brought this young man to face his foes fixed her eye on him so grim it made him tremble in every limb i am the spirit sent for you you deceived me once but i caught you now into the boat they have forced him down All for to protect both ship and men All for to protect both ship and men Into the boat they have forced him then The boat sank in a flame of fire The sailors too all to admire The next song is called Lovely Joan, uh, the tune of which was used by Vaughan Williams, who obviously collected it from a man called Mr. J. Vaughan Williams used it as the first variation on his Fantasia on Green Sleeves. And I was dying to find the words. And I was so happy when the Penguin Book of English Folk Songs came out. And there they were. It's found in Francis James Child as The Baffled Knight. I'll be there by and by Oh, don't you think these books of hay A pretty place for us to 
to play So come with me, my sweet young thing I'll give to you my golden ring Then he took off his ring of gold Ooh, pretty miss, do this behold Freely will I do it for your maiden head Her cheeks, they blush like the roses red Come give that ring into my hand I will neither stay nor stand For your ring, it is worth much more to me Than twenty maiden heads, said she And as he made for the cooks of hay She leapt on his horse and she tore her away Called, he called, but he called in vain For Joan she never looked back again Nor did she think herself quite safe Not till she come to a true love's gate Robbed him of his horse and ring She left him to range in the meadows green song is called The Dream of Napoleon. Napoleon Bonaparte songs were found all over southern England which is where most of the collectors did their work. You find it elsewhere. Whenever they went and taxed people about songs they knew, Napoleon Bonaparte would turn up again and again and the songs were written by the English, the Scots and the Irish and possibly the Welsh too, in English. This particular one, I learned from Yarmouth fisherman, Sam Lana, and he was an extraordinarily passionate singer. I actually saw him singing when I was 17 years old and it decided for me what I was gonna do. I saw him singing a club called the Ballads and Blues in, I guess, 1958. And I was thunderstruck by the passion of this man. He was around 80. I didn't know when I walked through the door what I was going to experience. I didn't know how it would change my life, and it did. On his brow there was vader and vigor 
Oh stranger, cried he, hast thou ventured to me From the land of thy sires, where they boast they are free A story, a true story, I'll tell unto thee Concerning that once famed Napoleon Now remember the tales were immortally told How I crossed the broad Alps famed in story The legions of France were the sons of my pride I lent them to honour and glory On the plains of Marengo I tyrants upheld My banner the eagle was ever unfurled Was the standard of freedom all over the world The signal of fame cried Napoleon As a soldier I've known both the heat and the cold I marched to the trump and the cymbal By dark deeds of treachery I have been sold The monarchs before me to tremble Oh, rulers and princes their stations demean Like scorpions they spat out their venom and spleen But liberty all over the world shall be seen And I woke from my dream of Napoleon Is a classic, and it's Sir Patrick Spens. My mother used to recite this to me when I was six or seven years old, and I was absolutely enthralled. And then I found out later on that people sang songs that were were as long as this, and I always wanted to learn it, but I could never find a tune. The tune I sing is the tune that Nick Jones found in a book called Ballads of Britain, edited by a man called John Goss. And I had that book, but I never found that tune. Thank you, Nick. Salam, laughed he, and the very next line that Patrick read, down he fell to his knee. Oh, who is this who has done this deed? Telling the king 
on me For to send us out this time of the year To sail on the salt, salt sea To Norway, to far Norway To Norway, over the foam It is the king's daughter to far Norway We must bring her home With all good speed on a Monday in the morn And they have arrived far over the sea On a Wednesday in the evening And they've not been in far Norway A week but barely three When all those lords of far Norway Began out aloud for the same Oh, you Scots foreigners spend our king's gold Swallow up our money Oh, weary, weary the tongue that lies See how it lies on me Make ready, ready, my good man All the little ship sails in the morn Be it wind, be it wet, be it hail, be it sleep, be it fair Or deadly storm Well, up and spoke our own with a man I fear we'll all be drowned For I saw the new moon late last night The old moon in her arm and they not sailed a league and a league, a league, but barely three. When through and through the little ship's side spied the green wall sea. Oh, where will I get me a brave young boy? Take my helm in hand. While I climb up to the tall top mast, see, can I spy land? And he's not on a step and a step, a step, but barely one. When the whirling winds and the ugly doors come driving to their shin. Oh, fetch me a web of the silken cloth, another web of the twine. And lay them around our little ship's side, let not the sea come in. And they got a web of the silken cloth, another web of the twine. And they laid them around the little ship's side, still the sea come in. Oh, the anchor snapped, the topmast crack, it was a deadly storm. And the whirling winds and the ugly jaws come driving to their chin. And there come a gale from the north, north east, so loud, so loud it woke. They cried Patrick's bones on all of his men, a drowning in the deep. the good Scots lords to wet their shining shoe but long and ere this play was done their hats were soaking through and many were the fine feather bed fluttering over the foam and many were the good old sons never never more come home and long long will the ladies sit their gold combs in their hand before they see Sir Patrick spends a sailing to try land And it's east by north from Abadda, it's fifty fathom deep And it's there it lies, Patrick spends the Scots lords at his feet Thanks very much for listening today. Be sure to check out the American Folk Life Center's website where you can find lots of amazing sound recordings online to explore at www.loc.gov forward slash folklife.